Hello, investors, and welcome back. Let's talk about what happened with Astra's failed launch attempt today and how it impacted the price. And could any of these patterns repeat themselves tomorrow? So to start things off, the countdown was held because the team needed to evaluate wind data. So while the launch is delayed, they go through the timeline, the mission timeline, and you can see it here on the screen, the liftoff with the time associated beside it. Then they've got the end pitch over, the max Q, the main engine cutoff, the fairing separation, the stage separation, the upper stage ignition, then the second engine cutoff, and then the payload deployment. So there's a few key terms that you're gonna hear in this next clip, and this was about three minutes prior to launch, telemetry, which was ultimately why they couldn't launch. There was a minor telemetry issue. Doc, please verify the range is recording telemetry at this time. Verified. Thank you, sir. Please verify the range is recording telemetry at this time. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 1, 0, abort. So there was a massive sell-off. This price drops immediately 17%. Brokerages stop trading, so everything is frozen for about five or ten minutes at least. And as you just heard, the flight director, Chris Hoffman, did just call a scrub for the day. Carolyn, do you have an update for us? Yes, unfortunately, the abort um, that was around our, our T0 time is a minor telemetry issue that the team needs to work to resolve. So, um, unfortunately, we need to stand down from today's launch attempt. Thank you so much for sticking with us, and you can follow us on Twitter at Astra to hear the latest updates on our next launch attempt. So if we take it to Twitter, you can see Chris has been keeping everyone updated, standing down today while we considered another attempt today. Out of an abundance of caution, we are giving the team the time to complete a more complete review of the data. We will post updates on Astra's Twitter feed. So transparency, communication, not only is he not delegating this to someone else, he's actively posting it on his own page and Astra's page. I thought that this was great communication. All right, so let's take a look at the charts because ultimately we want to ask ourselves, is this a trade tomorrow? Is there an exit and entry point? And really, you're not going to know until this actually starts trading. So over the weekend, if we take this back, this got postponed, right? It was no fault of Astra's that it was postponed. It ran up. It ran up to $5.60 and as soon as the market opened, it unloaded. It unloaded and kept pressure until about the 5.30 mark. And I was calling this out in the Discord, and this was the entry point. At 5.30, this is when I got in. It came down just a little bit to about 5.28. And, of course, this is in the five-minute chart. And I was going back and forth between the five-minute chart and the one-minute chart. But here is where I wanted to see it start to climb up. So it was going sideways. This was about an hour before you could see an hour before launch. So it's at about 11, 11.50 it starts climbing up. And this second five-minute candle at about 12 o'clock shoots up and it goes past this previous pre-market level that there was a sell-off. It didn't hold. It's got a huge wick. The wick is nearly as big as the body of the candle, and it closes a little bit lower. If you could see that, it closes a little bit lower than this candle. So I'm like, all right, this this is not good. This is not going 20%, and but it continues to climb up and then starts to meet resistance right here at about 560, and that's where I marked it. And you can see this starts to go sideways in the five-minute chart. So after about... 12 o'clock after this runs up between 12 o'clock and 12.45, you've had about 45 minutes just to know that this is not going to beat it past 5.60. That was the exit point. That's where I exited the position, not only because I want to be out prior to launch, but this launch window was about to open up. We, Of course, we were delayed due to weather, but I don't want to get to the launch window uh, and you know there's a further further impact on the price, and that's what happened. I didn't expect this to go down to $4 so soon, but I called this out in the Discord also. Uh, this this steps down, right? And then goes sideways. 
you know, nothing to worry about. Maybe, maybe not so bad. You know, people taking profits, everyone realizing that are looking at the same charts, realizing that this is not climbing any further. We're not seeing any breakout here. It gets some stability. It tries to test again. This is your last chance to get out. And you can see right here, then we actually have the launch attempt. Trading gets halted. This comes all the way down and it doesn't show it on this chart right here. Yeah, it does. It shows 444. There, it, the algorithms start buying this after it drops off. This is a huge red candle causing a lot of downward pressure. It goes all the way down to 444 where it actually tests this a couple of times. It, it dips down in here. You can see it tested it about three times. Uh, one, two, three, four, five six even after hours it started dipping down you know so uh this this is definitely on a downward trend and tomorrow my prediction is that this is going to be different now this is astra's fault it doesn't matter if this rocket takes off they've they've lost a little bit of confidence and even if this does enable some people to get out i'd see that 530 being a resistance mark now and if this does happen to make it up that high you could see it did shoot up here this was another opportunity to buy in extremely low and then get out. You had about 20 minutes to get out of that position up here at about 520. So you could have bought in down here at about 450 and got out at 520. There was money to be made in this trade and trust me, people did make money. There was a lot of puts that were that were executed and I don't I don't know if they sold those off before the market closed, but there was also some put action that was definitely transacted and it was relatively high there was a lot of action so i would say keep this on your watch list but executing this tomorrow you can even see that down here this rsi indicator it was respecting it so each time it dipped down here started to get below that 30 it was executing and it's coming back up but these bounces are trending down so this is in a downtrend. Right, so let's take a look at the one minute chart. This just gives us a little bit more time to respond and see what's happening as far as this gaining support having went down to $4.44 and getting halted on the downside and then this finding support shooting up. Uh, I, I thought this was a buy down here for another quick trade and it went sideways. You could have sold it up here at this, at this uh, spike but if you didn't have enough time that happened so quick then you should have gotten out of your position once once this leveled out at the five dollar range you could just see it just keeps going sideways it's meeting resistance you want to see a steady climb like this if it starts going sideways you know you might want to take that take take that trade off the table i meant when you're up you're up don't be greedy these market these markets are much different this year and the 20% that we've seen last year is going to be the 10% or 5% that we're going to see this year, or 6%. So you can see that this is trending down. And if you're long on Astra, if you are somebody who really believes in this company, then I would say wait to believe in it before you buy. And of course, make your own decisions, do what you want with your money. But I would wait for this to come down to the three or two dollar range. Rockets need to cool off after after they launch. This this stock price is going to need to cool off. CPI numbers, inflation needs to come out on February 10th. There's going to be plenty of opportunity to get this at a lower price. So I know that this seems low, but this has tested $4 before. I see this going into the $3 range once things calm down. Astra is at fault for this launch now. So things are going to be different tomorrow. And uh, I hope this video helps you. If it does, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give it a big thumbs up and be safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.